Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see Java bitwise operators. I have defined three integers i, j, k, initialized i to 2. The binary notation of 2 is 0, 1, 0, though integer has got lot of other bits set, but the last three bits will be 0, 1, 0. This is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 2. j is equal to 4. The, the binary equivalent of decimal number 4 is 100. 0, 0. So this pipeline symbol is the bitwise R. Bitwise R. That means this 0 and 1, it 0 R1 will yield 1. 1 R0 will yield 1. 0 R0 will yield 0. 1 R1 will yield 1. So the decimal, when I print the number k, it will be the decimal equivalent of this one. The decimal equivalent of this one is 2 plus 4 equal to 6. Let us see whether that gets executed. Java, Java 4. So it prints 6. 6 decimal is nothing but 110. The same thing I want to do bitwise AND. Let us do this. Bitwise AND, instead of this, you have to use the single ampersand sign. Bitwise AND, if I do this, 0 AND 1 is 0, 1 AND 0 is 0, 0 AND 0 is 0. Now let me have one more thing. Let us first execute this, then we change the values. First we need to compile this. Java C, Java 4 dot Java. Now let us execute. It says 0 because all the bits 1 and 0, 0 and 1, 0 and 0. Let me do one thing. I am just making this instead of 2, 1, 1, 0 is 6. 6 and bitwise and 4. So this bit will be set 1 and 1 will be 1. So it will be 1, 0, 0. Let us see whether it, it gets that one. I am compiling it again. Now I execute it. You get 4. 4 is nothing but 4 decimal number is equal to 1, 0, 0 in binary. So this is, this is the bitwise operator R and. There is a complement operator. Complement meaning it will reverse every bit. It will reverse this 1 to uh, 0, this 0 to 1. Let us see what it comes to. I have initialized i equal to 0. That means all the 32 bits of i in the integer are set to 0. Now I am using this statement k equal to the complement of i. This symbol, complement of i. This means it will flip all the zeros to ones, all the ones to zeros. In this case, I am printing the integer i using this keyword integer dot to binary string. So I am passing this i. This is an inbuilt method. So what it will do is it will convert this integer to a binary string and then it will print it. Then I am doing the same thing for k also. Let us see what happens over here. i is 0, all bits are set to 0. Once you do this k equal to complement of i, all the bits will be set to 1. Let us see what happens. Since all the bits are set to 0, it just prints 1, 0. All the other bits are also 0. Now you see, after doing the complement, the k, all the bits are just flipped to 1. Let us do one more thing. I am changing i to 2, okay? So it will have 0, 1, 0. Then all the other bits except the second bit will be set to 1. Let us see that. Let us compile and then see it again. Now you see, 0, 0, 0, lot of 30 zeros before that and then 1, 0 it prints. Now if you see, it reversed all the other bits to 1. This 1 is reversed to 0, this 0 is reversed to 1. So this is called the complementary operator. Let us see the bit shift operators. 
we have got i equal to 2, which is an equivalent of 0, 1, 0. Now, I am saying k equal to i left shift operator. Bitwise, each bit will be pushed to the left. When you say 1, they will be pushed by one position. So, the first bit will become the second bit, second bit will become the third bit. Towards the right hand side, it will start filling zeros. Now, I am printing the value of i, I am printing the value of i in binary. I am printing the value of k, I am printing the value of k in binary. Let us see how it works. i is 2, its binary equivalent is 1, 0. When i is left shifted by 1 time, it is coming to 4, it becomes 1, 0, 0. Let me do the same thing. Let me initialize i equal to 4. Then let us see what happens. Let us compile it and then see what happens. 4 is 1, 0, 0. 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. It just multiplies by 2. Let us do one thing. Let us go back here. i is equal to 6. Recompile. Do this. 6 is i. It is 1, 1, 0. When you left shift by 1, it becomes 12, 1, 1, 0, 0, which is the binary equivalent. So, left shifting by 1, digit or one bit multiplies by two. This is a very fundamental operation in binary. Let us do the same thing again here. Instead of left shifting, I am doing a right shifting. You do this right shift. Let us see what happens. I is initially, let us take uh, two, or say I is four. K is equal to I right shift by one character, one bit. Let us see what happens. Compile it. Execute. So 4 is I. It is 1, 0, 0. When you right shift, it becomes 2. It is binary equivalent of 1, 0. So the fundamental process of left shift is multiply by 2. Left shift by 2 by one bit is multiply by 2. So let me change the symbol over here. Same way, right shift, right shift by 1 bit is divide by 2. So this is the fundamental operations of left shift and right shift. So if we have seen in this session bitwise R, bitwise AND, bitwise complement, left shift and right shift of bits in any numeric variable. We will end this session here. Thank you.